winners of gift cards for No Tardies. And I'll stand the athlete of the week. And some reminders about homecoming next week. We are RHS. And we are on the... I'm Darian Belcher. And I'm Trayvon Curry. We start off with a look at next week's homecoming week schedule, including Spirit Week themes. Monday is Movie Character Monday, Tuesday is Tie-Dye Tuesday, Wednesday is Twin Day, Thursday is Jersey Day, and then Game Day, it will be Red Devil Pride Day. The parade will be on Wednesday next week, and so far there are over 60 entries, so make sure to come and enjoy it. Afterwards will be the class games on the football field. Voting for Homecoming King and Queen voting starts on Monday in Canvas, so make sure to log on and get your vote in. Here's another look at this, this year's candidates. For King, it's Gabe Crow, Corian Ferris, Owen Lohman, Carson Miller, and Jewel Taylor. For Queen, Nikayla Bennett, Brenda Garcia, Giselle Marsteller, Lauren Murray, and Riley Wetzel. Today, we get to bring you the winning names of the students of the week. These are the students with absolutely no tardies for the week last week. If you're on the list, you are entered to win a gift card. Here are your students of the week, including those who won gift cards. If you're one of the winners of the gift cards, see Ms. Parks in Mr. Amix's office to pick it up. Now for a look around another exciting week at RHS. Um, so he shot Sharpshooter, that's his shooting badge, and then he got the National Defense Ribbon. So if you, if you join, you know, basically any branch, you get the National Defense Ribbon. Uh, for me, I've got Expert, uh, Expert Rifle, and then Expert Pistol. So with the Marine Corps, you qualify on your rifle every year and then pistols every six months. Once you're, you can be like honor guard and you have to get a pistol call or you be a staff NCO. Okay, so right now I'm gonna turn it over to Private Meek. He's gonna give his kind of, his experience for boot camp. So he was in boot camp for five and a half months. All right, normally it's three months. So he got a little, little extra credit, all right? Um, when he started his journey, in the Marine Corps, he was 262 pounds. Right now he's 195, okay? So, um, quite the transformation. The transformation is, it's real. You know, the, the Marine Corps talks about that all the time, but this is proof, all right? So, floor is yours, man. Um, so, when I first got to boot camp, it was uh, definitely a culture shock, because being born and raised in Indiana, in this, these parts of Indiana, it's different going to, to San Diego. A lot of people, um, you'll definitely meet a lot of new and very different people. In our continuing feature, it's time to hear about your go-to teacher at RHS. A teacher I feel comfortable with is Miss Hitchrick because she, I can joke around with her and she goes along with it and I feel like whenever I talk to her, she always makes me feel happy. My go-to teacher is Mr. Newman because he will always say after help with homework. Mr. Hill, or Dr. Hill as we like to call him, is my favorite teacher because he pushes me to d follow my dreams and do the things that I want to do with the rest of my life. Thanks, Mr. Hill. I'm Ryan Miller, and my favorite, my go-to teacher is Mr. Ronnie because he's a very down-to-earth person, and he's very understanding, and he's a very cool guy in general. My go-to teacher is Miss McCarkage because she's nice and sweet in her classes, very fun to do. Time for some sports, uh, and this week we honored one of our girls soccer players as our Athlete of the Week. I'm John T. Gabbard and I'm with the Athlete of the Week, Nikayla Bennett, who had a big game against Muncie Central. How does it feel to match your career high with six goals against Muncie Central on Tuesday? Um, it feels nice. Um, that was a good one for us since it was an NCC game. We have a few more to the NCC conference, so hopefully we can keep it up. How's your season going so far? 
The season's going okay. We had some ups and downs. Um, we're still in the learning process, but we're trying to focus more on the NTC conference, which is coming up soon. So I hope we have some good competition there and put up a good fight. How did your teammates help you come back from a concussion? Um, they comfort me. They didn't rush me to come back, and they always just made sure I was okay. Thank you for your time, and good luck on the rest of the season. A couple more outstanding athletes of this week were Cliff Hazelbaker and Joey Gimenti. The RHS number one double team won all three of their matches last weekend to finish undefeated in the Richmond Invitational. Great job, guys. And we finished out with just a few great plays in a disappointment last week, weekend for Red Devil football. We also want to wish good luck to the team tonight as they go on and take on Muncie Central. On Tuesday, look for the Riley fundraiser at both lunches. You can make your dollar donation to tape one of your favorite teachers to the wall. That's our show. For On the Air, I'm Darian Belcher. And I'm Trayvon Curry. Have a great weekend.